Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your May 2018 reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will just see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Scorpio. Um, we're going to get two of these oracle cards. We're going to get one of these and one of these. If it falls out while I'm shuffling and flips over, you get to see it now. If not, we will reveal it at the end. What I'd like you to do is take what resonates and leave the rest. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for the month of May? There's one. Oh, there it is. It didn't flip over, but it came a flying, so it must have said, okay. Scorpio for the month of May 2018. This is in regards, generally my readings are love readings, so we're going to call it a love reading. This is for Scorpio. Oh, there could be an exciting new passionate beginning. Okay, it could be there could be some new growth or something very fertile. Okay, there's it's a very fertile time for you, put it that way. This is a, a gift from above of fertility. All right, so there could be a new partnership or there could be just something new and exciting that comes into your life. You could be broadening your horizon, starting something new, learning a new skill. Um, there could be some kind of breakup on the horizon, I'm sorry to tell you, but there could be some sort of family feud with the Ten of uh, Pentacles reversed. There could be some sort of trouble on the home front, but I feel like you're still holding on to something. You're, you're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. And it's funny because before I did this reading and I was thinking, you know, you guys were up next, you're first for today. Um, I was thinking about... Scorpio, you know, because I always do that. And I was thinking, holding on. They're holding on. And here we have holding on. So you guys are definitely, I think there is some fear of change because that also came to my mind, fear of change. Okay, fear of taking the next step. So just keep that in mind. Fear of change and holding on um, came to mind when I was thinking about you guys. Maybe you guys are fearing a commitment even I don't know or you're fearing leaving a commitment all right something is going on here so it appears that this is a commitment this is a commitment it's funny I just said are you fearing a breakup or fearing a commitment or fearing um something all right you guys may be really focusing on your finances right now trying to come up with the money maybe to move Maybe you're trying to find the money or make the money to move from a situation, okay? That could certainly be the case. I feel like somebody is, maybe you're deciding that you need to make some compromises and work together with someone to expand yourself. Maybe that's the case. Whatever's happening here, you're putting in a lot of work and it has to, I think you're putting in a lot of work to increase your financial stability in some area of your life. Well, that's in financial stability. But you guys are, 
You definitely have this fear. You have this fear of being let down. You have this fear of letting anybody in, I believe. Maybe you guys are thinking about ending something and it's going to take some money for it to end, okay? Whether this is job or a partnership, I think that you guys are ready to let something go. You just have to step outside of your comfort zone. You guys are ready to give up on a situation that isn't fulfilling. And this could be your job, but it could be or it could be a relationship. Or the person you're dealing with could be ready to give up. I feel like you guys um, are probably really seeking guidance as to what is the right path for you. You know, what is it? What is going to make me the happiest? You're probably, you know, asking and waiting for the answers to come. I just, I really feel with this. Hierophant card that there are some blockages that you are trying to remove from your life that are holding you back. I feel like you are now following your own path or wanting to follow your own path and make some changes, but maybe money is a problem. So, I mean, with this 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 not this hermit reverse, some of you could be going through some sort of midlife crisis, and you have this fear. You have this fear of letting go you have this fear of growing old alone so maybe you're staying in a predicament that you don't really want to be in but it's financially stable you know but it's not what you want because there's really no love here this is supposed to be a love reading so whether this is in regards to a, a job career or a relationship somebody is only staying for the money that's what it looks like to me but I feel like there is a new opportunity that's being offered somewhere okay and I have to um, or you're just focusing on your job right now that could be the case because you've been hurt in the past either way someone has this fear of being let down or making the wrong choice so they're holding on to something that probably isn't what they want I mean that's what it looks like to me but I feel like either you're going through some sort of period of growth and you are receiving an opportunity for something new. You are. But you have to be able to move towards it. If you stay stuck, if you, if you lack the confidence in yourself to move forward, then you're stuck. Okay? You need to find your confidence to move away from this situation to, re, to get the appreciation that you deserve. Okay, you might have to make some compromises here. I feel like you guys are definitely thinking about making some big changes in your life, letting something go, letting go of a job or some responsibilities or a person. It feels like wherever you've been, there's, there's been, it's been a little chaotic. It's been uh, heavy and you're probably ready to just drop it. I, I, I don't think I can carry this this your baggage or this baggage around anymore this is this is too heavy for me to carry i feel like you're think you're you're this it could almost feels like a collapse with these two cards mirroring each other somebody is ready to collapse from a situation just end it i can't be involved with this situation anymore it's too much for me this is too much it feels like something is too much and I feel like you're being called to defend yourself and stand up for yourself and do what's right for you. You still have the upper hand. You do. The ball's in your court. All you have to do is have the confidence to take the next step. You guys may be being manipulated and controlled. Okay, you may. You may be driven by... Um, things lies okay you may be driven by things that aren't good for you okay there could be some lust here because this is this could be sexual passion and this could be too you could be driven by some sort of obsession addiction uh, greed lust materialism that is holding you back from making progress something is holding you back from victory and success in your life and it could be an addiction Whatever it is, it's a fault. It's fault. It's not serving you. The devil doesn't bring anything good into your life. Okay? I, you know, and then we have the Six of Cups. 
So there could be somebody that you are thinking about from your past. And, you know, maybe you just are being called to fight for it. Maybe you're being called to make this change. Somebody might be lying to themselves about how they really feel, whether it's you or the other person. You could be being manipulated by somebody who is full of shit all this while. Maybe, you know, I feel like you're you're trying to move on from a situation, but you're unable to move on from a situation. Because there was so much passion there at one time. And I feel like those memories of the past are still haunting you. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like with this magician reversed over the hermit card, somebody reversed... Somebody has this fear of making a move. Unable to shed the old. Unable to let this person go. I believe there's somebody in your past that you are probably dreaming about. That you're unable to let go. And you're being called to probably fight for it. Whatever this is. And I think this is, I mean this could be a Capricorn. A Virgo, a Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Imagine that. Anyway, and we have them in all major arcanas, okay? So we have Capricorn major arcana, Virgo major arcana, and Taurus major arcana. So I feel like you guys are, are thinking about an earth sign that there could have been a split from, but you can't get them off your mind. That's what it looks like to me. And it feels like you ha you may have a new opportunity to restart something, to relight the fire with this person if you would let go of the past and let go of the fear and take the next step. You need to have faith in this. You do. You need to have faith. What is this? You know, there's a lot of confusion here. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of illusion. You may be dealing with somebody who is totally lying to you. You know, there could be somebody that isn't telling you the truth. They're keeping some secrets. And maybe you've decided you don't want to invest in this person because they're very secretive. You know, you may be, it's very unrealistic to involve yourself in someone who is full of confusion themselves. I feel like you're dealing with another person that isn't your person from your past that is probably trying to get your attention, but you're probably would rather be alone because this person is unrealistic and full of shit. So I don't know who this is, but I feel like you are involved with another person that is keeping secrets from you and you know it and it's kind of, I mean, you know it, you accept it. And you're, they're probably keep putting you on the defensive because you know that they've got some kind of secrets. And I feel like it's really bringing back memories, you know, of the past when things were good with, or with, with whoever it is that you really loved. And you're like, man, I just wish I'll never find that again. When am I ever going to find that? I think there's a lot of memories of the past that are haunting you. And probably this person from the past is haunting you and you... You can't, you just can't move on with anybody else at this time because it's all unrealistic, you know. And I feel like if anybody keeps secrets from you, you're going to be like, goodbye. You know, you're not dealing with that. So I feel like they're, and when I say somebody from your past, this could be somebody you dated, but it may not be. It could be anybody. It really could be. But somebody from your past could be somebody that you are just very, very familiar with. It could be a soul contract, Okay. So, but anyway, I feel like this is a month where you decide to, you may decide to reject an offer from someone new because you're still full of passion with somebody from your past. You still are in love with somebody from your past. That could be the case. It could be. I feel like you may decide to just be single and work on yourself and take care of yourself during this time because you know what you're worth and whoever is filling you up with bullshit 
in lies is this is unrealistic. It's not satisfying. I, I can see right through you. There's, there's, um, I think you're dealing with somebody who is negative and secretive and controlling and manipulative and you are probably not wanting to invest in them. You're probably just like, you know, I have to keep my life under control. I have to keep things organized, organized and structured and I'm the boss of my life and don't think you're going to come in here with your secrets and mess it up. So I feel like, you know, you may have lost your faith and love at this moment because you have dealt with somebody who is secretive and they've opened your eyes to what you used to have. And you're probably reminiscing about what you used to have and wanting that back. And you're probably realizing what you're worth. So I feel like there's a lot of self-worth this month. I know what I'm worth and you aren't it. So I feel like this is a month of maybe becoming single because this could be moving home and taking care of yourself, you know, or being single, continuing to be single, um, loving life as it is, working on myself, working on uh, establishing my career, my finances, my own abundance, my own prosperity. I feel like you guys are not wanting to engage in anything that is dissatisfying and unrealistic and you can see through the the bullshit i can see through it i can and that's you seeing through it i feel like you guys are not wanting to stay in a situation that is negative and you're probably keeping the control you're staying in control and I think that you've gained a lot of wisdom through life. I do. I think that you have a lot of wisdom and that that has allowed you to see right through. So I feel like you're dealing at one point during this month or at the end of April, because this is being uh, recorded on April 17th, somebody comes into your life and feeds you a line, feeds you a line of bullshit and um, you see right through it because you, you've gained a lot of life experience. You have a lot of wisdom in there and, and you see right through it and you say, no, this isn't what I'm looking for. Mm -mm. No, I'd rather be single than deal with secrets and lies. And I feel like at one point you may be tempted to let this person in and there could be even some lust here, you know, where... There's a given, but it doesn't lead to anything stable and secure. I feel like you come to that conclusion that, no, this needs to end. It's not what I'm looking for. It's not, it's not fulfilling to me. And I feel like you guys are probably still holding on to something from the past, and that's what you really want. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn at the bottom of the deck. And it could go upright or reverse, depends on how I show you the deck. Okay, so you have a, I believe that you guys have an earth sign that you are hung up on. And there's a lot of reminiscing going on. And while you are working on yourselves right now, you are un, probably unable to let anybody in fully. So I feel like this is a month of keeping things under control, seeing through lies and illusions and confusion, and probably... You know, there may be a little bit of fun here. There could be a sexual encounter, but I don't think it leads to anything stable and secure. You'll probably still end up alone in the end or want to be alone. Love who you are. Yes, it's about you. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. I believe that you will have a new opportunity for a sexual encounter with someone. But that's all it is. Because they're full of shit. They're very secretive. They're not telling you the whole truth. And there is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in the picture. Whether, whether 
it's you that's hung up on this person or the person you're dealing with. There is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in the picture that is involved. Whether it's with the person that's coming in with the secrets or it's involved with you. This person is a key player in this situation. The thinking man. I have to read this one because I can't ever remember these. This card shows a man standing before his archway, gazing at a crystal in his hand. He is thoughtful. He is a thoughtful and reflective man, representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life now or about to arrive soon. This person may be there to educate you in the finer, finer details of your chosen direction or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental, or emotional pursuits. This card is telling you to pay attention for this could lead to great strides in personal or professional growth. This man may also be a love interest coming your way, man or woman, or perhaps just a new friend. But be on the lookout for this guide in the physical world and be open to his information. Learn what you can. I believe there is somebody that is coming into your life to make you realize what you really, really want. And what you deserve. People come into your life usually to teach you something. So there's probably somebody coming in. And, I get, and this pretty much resonates with the reading. I believe that there's somebody coming into your life that is very seductive. They come in with lies and secrets. And they make you realize what you've lost or what you want or what you're worth. So that's what I have for May. Talk to you later.